Greetings, everyone. Today, we are thrilled to bring you some groundbreaking news that will undoubtedly leave a lasting impact on countless lives. In a historic turn of events, President Biden has officially put pen to paper, signing off on an unprecedented economic stimulus package designed to provide crucial support to our senior citizens. And the best part, the checks, totaling a whopping $2,400 plus $914, are set to be deposited on September 13th. Can you believe it? We'll uncover how it all came together, who's eligible to receive this financial boost, and what it means for our seniors who've contributed so much to our society. Welcome to Money Matters, your go-to channel for all things stimulus check updates and social security. In the intricate landscape of retirement planning, there's a numerical sweet spot that carries profound implications for your social security income as you approach the twilight of your career. Interestingly, it's not the obvious number that typically garners attention. While the widely understood fact remains that one can commence claiming social security benefits as early as age 62, and the tantalizing prospect of maximizing your monthly benefit by delaying until the ripe age of 70 is a well-established strategy, the reality is more multifaceted than it appears. The allure of waiting until age 70 to receive your benefits can be strong, as it promises a more substantial monthly payout. However, the wisdom of this decision hinges on various factors, particularly your immediate financial needs. Life has a way of throwing unexpected curveballs, and sometimes, these financial surprises necessitate access to that social security income sooner rather than later. It's not just about maximizing benefits, it's about striking the delicate balance between optimizing your retirement income and covering essential living expenses. Moreover, there's an alternative perspective that underscores the wisdom of claiming social security benefits at the earliest opportunity, typically age 62. Doing so can serve as a strategic shield for your hard-earned savings. By tapping into your social security income early, you may mitigate the risk of depleting your interest-earning investments prematurely. This can be especially crucial during times of economic uncertainty, like bear markets, where selling off stocks and other assets could have detrimental consequences for your long-term financial security. In the complex realm of social security benefits, the idea of equalizing lifetime benefits regardless of your claiming age can seem like a financial puzzle worth exploring. Picture this scenario, if you opt to start receiving your social security benefits at an earlier age, say 62, you'll enjoy a monthly income sooner, which can be a lifeline for those who may need it to cover essential expenses or support their retirement lifestyle. However, the trade-off is that the monthly benefit amount you receive at this age is smaller than if you were to wait until the maximum claiming age of 70. The magic of the system lies in its ability to balance the scales. If you decide to hold off until age 70 to claim your benefits, you're rewarded with more substantial monthly payouts to compensate for the years you delayed. In essence, it's like receiving larger, albeit fewer, installments of your hard-earned social security pie. But how exactly are these benefits calculated? Social security benefits are meticulously designed to reflect a percentage of your average wages over your 35 highest-earning years in the workforce. Generally, for most individuals, their income tends to rise as they gain experience and climb the career ladder. However, here's where it gets interesting. Even if you haven't worked a full 35 years, perhaps due to career changes, breaks, or part-time work, Social Security still factors in those 35 slots to calculate your average income. So, let's say you've worked for 20 years, which is 10 more than the minimum required to collect Social Security. The Social Security Administration would calculate your average income based on those 20 years and then divide it by 35. The remaining 15 years are treated as if you earn $0 during that time, which can impact the overall average. Now. The golden ticket to understanding your social security benefits lies in your social security statement. This invaluable document provides personalized retirement benefit estimates at nine different ages, allowing you to peer into your financial future. It also includes a detailed earnings history, which serves as a compass to guide your retirement planning, whether you're actively planning for your golden years or simply curious about your financial outlook. The social security statement equips you with the insights needed to make well-informed decisions about when to retire and begin collecting your hard-earned social security benefits. Deciding when to initiate your social security benefits is a pivotal aspect of your retirement planning strategy, and understanding the intricacies that can either bolster or diminish your eventual benefits is paramount. Contrary to a common misconception, your retirement income, encompassing sources like pensions, savings, or investments, doesn't directly influence your social security benefits. However, Here's the intriguing twist, should you choose to work while simultaneously claiming social security benefits, this dual action could potentially reduce the amount you're eligible to collect. It's a delicate financial balancing act that necessitates careful consideration, making it incredibly valuable to seek the counsel of a financial advisor who specializes in retirement planning. 
Their expertise can be the compass guiding you toward the optimal strategy for maximizing your social security benefits throughout your retirement journey. At the core of the social security benefit calculation lies your earnings history, which comprises earned income, wages, and net income from self-employment. A crucial factor to note is that if a portion of your wages is subject to withholding for Social Security or FICA, Federal Insurance Contributions Act, taxes, these wages are factored into your Social Security contributions. In essence, you're actively contributing to the Social Security system with each paycheck that has deductions for these taxes. When you decide to apply for Social Security benefits, the process delves deeper into your financial history, specifically your average indexed monthly earnings. This calculation takes into account up to 35 years of your indexed earnings history to determine the amount you qualify for. The outcome of this meticulous computation is known as your primary insurance amount, PIA, a pivotal figure that forms the basis for deciding the benefits you'll receive upon retirement. It all boils down to a combination of timing, strategy, and a comprehensive understanding of the intricate complexities of your financial history. Armed with this knowledge, you can make well-informed choices that will secure your financial future in retirement. Ensuring that you're poised to make the most of your hard-earned social security benefits and ultimately enjoy a comfortable retirement lifestyle. So, remember, the path to financial security in retirement involves not just when you claim your benefits but also how you strategically navigate your unique financial landscape. When it comes to social security and planning for retirement, there are some essential clarifications to make. First and foremost, it's crucial to understand what does and doesn't factor into your social security benefits. The system primarily designed to provide financial support for retirees, looks primarily at income derived from traditional employment or self-employment for calculation purposes. Other sources of income, such as withdrawals from a 401k or individual retirement account, IRA, periodic payments from annuities, or even engaging in a reverse mortgage, do not impact your eligibility for social security benefits. Furthermore, these sources of income do not affect the amount you receive from social security or your eligibility for Medicare. Now. Let's delve into the fascinating world of reverse mortgages. This financial tool allows homeowners to tap into their home equity without the burden of making regular payments to a lender. Instead, the lender disperses payments to you, effectively converting your home's value into accessible cash flow. The beauty of a reverse mortgage lies in its unique repayment structure. As long as you continue to live in your home, you aren't required to make any repayments towards the reverse mortgage. It's a flexible solution that many retirees consider to supplement their social security benefits and enhance their financial security during retirement. In essence, grasping these dynamics is essential to make well-informed decisions regarding your retirement planning. It empowers you to leverage various financial tools at your disposal, like reverse mortgages, to bolster your financial security in your golden years. The key takeaway here is that while social security serves as a crucial foundation for retirement income, it doesn't limit your ability to explore complementary financial strategies to ensure a comfortable and stress-free retirement. Understanding the nuances of these financial instruments can play a pivotal role in securing your financial future, providing peace of mind as you embark on your retirement journey. Thank you for joining me, your go-to channel for all things stimulus checks and personal finance tips. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.